all these three together. Is that okay, Sandra? Yes. Okay. We are going to call the matter of the city of Wyandotte versus Riley Sharas Abraham, 23W066709. City of Wyandotte versus Brooklyn Harrell, 23W066710. And the city of Wyandotte versus Raina Diaz, 23W006671. And I know you've all been here for a little bit, so I do apologize for that. But I think that you have seen that you have to speak directly into the microphone. And um, so and we're going to start with your name. Okay, no, no, no. You have to adjust the microphone right into the microphone. So get closer. Okay. Okay. And who is with you? Mom, your name, please. Are you mom? Yes. Okay, if you can come a little closer, your mom, please. Danielle you... Sharas Martin. Okay, can you please spell your first and last names? D A N I E L L C H A R E S T hyphen M A R T I N. Okay, so there's not an E at the end of your last first name? Okay. Okay, and so your name, please. Yes. Okay, and I'm sorry. Speak up. Yes. Brooklyn Marie Harrell. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you. And um, and who is with you? I'm Okay, you do. I'm a mom. Um, Megan Lockhart. Okay, and how do you spell your first and last names? M E G A N. Last name L O C K A T R T. Okay. All right, and your name, please. Please. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to slow it down a little bit and go right into the microphone, please. Nope, again. Okay, and clearly we're in community meeting today, right? Yes, no. Oh no, 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 I can see your attitude. We're very much in inconveniencing her today. Okay, and your name, please? Um, Esperanza Diaz. Can you spell your first and last name? Um, e S P E R A N C A. Uh, All right, and who else is with you? I'm Scott Dad, Andrew Murray. Can you spell your first and last names? A and D, excuse me, R E W, last name Murray, M O R A I S. M O R A I S. A I S. Okay. All right, so mm, all three of you uh, are here because you were, um, because it's alleged on March 24th. Of this year at Wilson Middle School that you were all vaping. And so you all had an opportunity to speak to the prosecuting attorney and um, Riley, you're pleading responsible, is that correct? You have to speak up, we can't, we can't record your, um, your nodding of your head. So right into the microphone. Yes. That's correct, okay. And Brooklyn, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And Raina, is that correct? Yes. Okay. So, and are the three of you friends? Um, okay. You have to speak right into the microphone. Me and Raina are friends. Okay. And so, do you know these two? Yes. And are you friends with them? With Raina. With Raina. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to have all three of you please raise your right hands. The other right. That's okay. Lots of people do that because it's directly across from your, from that one. You saw me swear from the testimony about forgiveness, can it be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Raina. The truth. Yes. Okay. Brooklyn. Yes. All right. And Riley. Yes. Okay. All right. So, my understanding that you um, are all pleading responsible. And so, Riley, as to the allegation that you engaged in prohibited conduct at Wilson Middle School, how do you plead? Responsible or not responsible? Okay. And <clears throat> Brooklyn, as to the prohibited conduct, do you plead responsible or not responsible? Responsible. Raina, as to the prohibited conduct, do you plead responsible or not responsible? Responsible. Okay. And so do you understand that you have the right to have a contested hearing in this matter? And by entering into a plea, you will not have that hearing. 
Riley. Yes. Brooklyn. Yes. Raina. Yes. You might want to say it a little closer. You keep unless you want to get ducks in today, because you go back and then you're frustrated. You have to come closer. So you can stay closer. That's fine. Yes. Okay. And so you also understand the possible penalty as a result of pleading responsible today, Raina. Yes. Brooklyn? Yes. Riley? Yes. Okay. So, Raina, tell me what it is that you did that you're responsible for prohibited conduct. What? Marijuana. You have to get close to the microphone. Marijuana. Okay. And was that an abate? Yes. Okay. So how did you obtain that? Remember, you're under oath to tell the truth. I, what? I can't I can't hear what you're saying. You have to be louder in there. Okay. Okay. No, how did you get it? Who, who, how did you obtain the bait with the marijuana in it? My friend. Which friend? Brooklyn, you brought it? Yes. And so, Raina, did you know what was in it? Uh, no, not this. Okay. So, you decided to take a bait and use the bait that you had no idea of what was in it. Yes. So, you do realize that um, some of those can be laced with fentanyl and that can kill you. Do you understand that? Yes. And so yet yeah, you did that anyway, knowing that you were putting your life at risk. Yes. Okay. And so Riley, what is it you did that would be make you responsible for prohibited conduct? Mm -hmm. Louder, please. You have to be right into the microphone. You can adjust the microphone to the, uh, there you go. Mm -hmm. And so where did you get the vape? So was there only one vape or did you all, were there multiple vapes that each of you had? Uh, just one right Just one what? That each of us had. So you each had your own? Okay. And so how did that all happen? You all decided to meet in the bathroom? Oh no, somebody did this in class. Who, who, who was smoking the vape in class? One of the, the report says somebody was vaping in class, like in the classroom during class. I'm sorry, your name for the record? Danielle Stressman. Okay, just, if you can come a little closer, please. I heard the same thing from her father. They had told her father to pick her up. Um, but when I had spoken with the principal, she said that no teacher or anything saw her with it. It was a student. That said, they saw her, but they never, they did not say it was in class. They said it was in class. Okay. So I'm not sure where that came from, but I did hear that as well. So I talked with the school cop as well to find out the true story. And that is what happened. And did you know what was in there, Riley? Yeah. Wow, it's closer. Yeah. But yet you decided to use the bait that you didn't know what was in there. What was that? Yeah. And how old are you? Eleven. Raina, how old are you? Eleven. Brooklyn, how old are you? Eleven. At eleven years old, you think it's a good idea to use a bait. And you don't even know what's in it. No, but yet you did. Why? You think it's cool standing up here in front of the court? I'm Brooklyn. What did you do that would make you responsible for verbal conduct? You only brought it, you didn't use it? I used it a couple times. Okay, so bringing them to school and using it. So where did you get the dates from? Mom. 
someone said. Did your mom give them to you? No. So you stole them from your mother? Yes. Why did you do that? My friend Bree had one and she gave it to me. That's where I first found out what it was. And I wanted to see cool because it was popular and stuff. What's popular? My friend Bree, she was popular and I wanted to see cool. And so why do you think she's popular? The whole school knows her. Just because they know her doesn't mean that she's popular. I mean, doesn't mean they know her on a good way or a bad way or anything else. Maybe maybe she knows a lot of people. That doesn't necessarily make her popular. So you went into your mom's bag and you stole not one, but three vapes and brought them to other people at school. Yes, Your Honor. There's a lot of problems with that. How do you know what was in them? My friend Brie told me. How do you know what was in the ones that your mom had? Because they look the same as Brie. Okay, but you do realize that they can be um, tampered with, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, they can be tampered with, and there can be other substances laced in there. All right, the courts are going to accept the pleas are responsible for all three of you as knowing voluntary and factually accurate. And so, Raina, if you were to test today, what's going to be in your system? Marijuana. When's the last time you used marijuana? When was that? Five weeks ago. For this incident? Yes. Is that yes? Yes. And so have you used it since then? Yes. You're sure? Yes. Mr. Murray, you had your hand up? Yeah, I was just, I don't think she understands the whole process of marijuana thing. She does have a learning disability that like alters her perception of time, so like she may not realize it was three. That's what she said five weeks, I think, instead of instead of, or I'm sorry, she said five weeks instead of three weeks. It's, it just it affects like her like no, that's, well, that's communication why, and like expressing communication. So I just no, that's why I yeah. asked right since it's incident, so that yeah, would be more perspective. Yeah. And so did you have any punishment at home? Yes. And what was that? Anything else? No drug testing? Um, neither. All right, Brooklyn, if you were to test what's in your system today? Marijuana. When's the last time you used marijuana? Three weeks and two weeks ago. So after this incident? No. The same time as her. Okay. And so what was your punishment at home? Oh, my left arm just got taken away. Anything else? And then I took to my house. You didn't have any restrictions on hanging out with people? Um, no. I don't go outside much. And, um, have you been drug tested? No, not yet. All right, Riley. If you were to test what's in your system, Louder, please. Yeah. Have you used it since this day? No. And so what consequences did you have at home? Uh, all that was kind of sick and I know it's very good in makeup when you make any like, mistakes or products, I guess. And I'm not allowed to know that. Okay. There's more. What else? She's not allowed to make up. She's not allowed to make up. There's anything of that nature. So, with the responsible children, she is grounded and she's not allowed to make up. She's not allowed to make up. 
Do you give your mom attitude and behavior problems at home? Why? I mean, it hasn't, like, it's been a while since that happened. Like, attitude. So, Brooklyn. You on your own just decided that you were just going to bring a vape to school for the for the three of you, or was that something that the three of you talked about beforehand? Um, just me. Just you. Yes. So then, since you and Riley are not friends, how did it come to be that Riley was there? Um, we were walking to lunch, and um, we there was a whole group of us. And we just walked to the bathroom and asked for one. They just asked you for one. They didn't even, how did they know you even had them? Because um, they brought it out in the bathroom. Well, she brought it out in the bathroom. Okay, go ahead, Riley, tell me. Um, in my fourth hour, when I asked if I would like to go to the bathroom with her before lunch, and I said yes, and she uh, pulled it out in the bathroom, and then uh, Brooklyn asked if I wanted one, and I said, I didn't like to say anything, I just like looked at her and I said, what? And she gave me one, and then we left. Okay. So, you know, do you want to go to the bathroom with me before lunch? Is that new code for you want to hit up a vape in the bathroom? Um, Closer to the microphone, please. Okay. Are you all in the same grade? Yes. Okay. And so when do you turn 12, Riley? September. When do you turn 12, Brooklyn? May 25th. And when did you turn 12, Marina? December 29th. Okay. So I may be wrong in what I'm about to say, Raina, but <clears throat> body language says a lot. And it says is, is what I, what your body language is telling me is that this is a complete waste of your time. No. You are all in sixth grade, sixth grade, and your focus is getting vapes and hitting on them. In the sixth grade, there's absolutely zero reason why that should be anything on your mind at all, let alone the marijuana. How did it make you feel, Reyna? What about you, Brooklyn? My head started to hurt. What about you, Riley? And Ms. Lockhart, um, since this incident, where do you keep your vape? Because you're legally allowed to have them. I put them in a lockbox or a lockup. Brooklyn, you're lucky that your mom didn't file charges for stealing. Larceny. Those are bigger criminal charges. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. And then when you provide them to other people, that's another crime. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Do you participate in any activities? Yes, Your Honor. I did basketball, but the season ended. What about you, Riley? Do you participate in any activities? 
Raina, what about you? No. So you just have a lot of time to sit around and get in trouble. Why don't you do any activities, Raina? I don't know. You don't want to, you don't like any sports or any clubs or anything? I like basketball, but we weren't allowed to do it. Who wasn't allowed to do it? The six graders. At, at Wilton, but there's, you know, there's recreation that you can play, right? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. She did just play recreational basketball, um, and she also does boxing. So I, I don't know if she's like, because she hasn't competed yet, she's not counting that, but she oh. does do boxing once or twice a week. Oh, okay. That's an activity. Yeah. Yeah. Riley, why don't you participate in the activities? Um, I used to do gymnastics not that long ago, but I quit because I got kind of bored of it. Um, but I was thinking about bringing tumbling. Tumbling? I suggest all three of you do something because you're going to have a long summer not having anything to do. I understand that you're grounded. I understand that. I'm not saying you shouldn't be grounded or anything like that, but the more idle time you have, with nothing to do, you start to think of things that you can do to, that will likely get you in trouble and you're making bad choices. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have you each write a paper, five page paper, okay? Regarding vaping, why it's not good, what can happen, what can happen since you're under the age of 21? And also, positive influences and other activities or behavior that you can do, okay? And then I'm going to have you email that in or drop it off by May 19th, that's four weeks from Friday, okay? Okay, and then um, I will have everybody back. When are you out of school? I'm pretty sure June. Right, June. Is June 11th, or I mean June 8th, 9th, 15th? Sure, the 9th. The 9th. Okay. So I will have you back here on June 13th. Okay. I'll review the, the papers by then. And so then we'll do the sentencing on June 13th at 11.30 a.m. Okay. All right, I'm hoping that there won't be any issues at school between now and then. Okay? All right. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Are you off the record?